Hey guys, this is Goofer King, and welcome to the second part of this series on how to make a fume hood. Um, this time we're going to be actually constructing the hood of the fume hood, so it's the box. And so right now, uh, I have the top piece, which is the 20 inches by 40 inches, and we are going to draw two lines, and they're going to be in the exact center along this line, along this way. It's going to be along this way, so we can find the exact center here. So we can draw a 6 inch in diameter circle that we can uh, cut out with a jigsaw so that we can have the place for the centrifugal fan to be on the top and suck out the fumes. This will be a fume hood. So first of all, you can see that since this is 20 inches, we're going to find the exact center here which is going to be around 10 inches. So we make some marks here and I'm going to make move over a little bit, make another mark around here, 10 inches. And then uh, maybe right here too. So now we've got those. We're going to switch to this direction. And this is going to be 20 inches here. So around the 20 inch mark, right there. We're going to draw some lines right there. We're going to make a line there. So now you can see that we've made a few marks this direction and this direction, so we'll have a straight line. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a line connecting these. So now, what we've done, we have found that right here is the exact center of the board. So you can see what I've done. I've made marks, you know, up and down, and side to side, and then we draw lines connecting them, lines connecting them, and then we get the exact center right here. Okay. So now we're going to get our centrifugal fan, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So now that we found the exact center, we take our centrifugal fan, and we're not going to be able to find the exact point in which this sets. So to make sure that it's centered. It should be pretty centered already, but to make sure that it is centered, you can see the bottom looks exactly like this, and it's six inches. Um, unless yours is eight inch or four inch, but I already gave you the CFM recommendations in the last video, so you should know if yours is right or not. So you might have to adjust your measurements depending on what diameter your fan is, but anyway, so to find this is the exact center, if this is six inches, and this board that we're going across here is 20 inches, then, if you take 20 minus 6, that's 14. And you divide 14 by 2, that's 7. So, there should be 7 inches of space in between the opening down there and the edge of the board. See that this is way too much on this side. It's all coming all the way down to about 8. So, we're going to adjust this till the 7 is on the edge of the board. Okay, so now the fan is on the, the tape measures on the 7. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. 7 inches. So this measurement's good to go. Now we have to do the side. So the side is 40 inches long. This is 6 inches in diameter. So 40 minus 6 is 34 divided by 2 is 17. So we need to make sure that there is 17 inches of space. It's on the 17 mark over there. I don't know if you can see it, but hope. I'm going to make sure it's on the 17 inch mark over here. Okay. It's at the 17 mark on this side too. There's 7 inches of space between the intake and the edge of the board and 7 inches on the other side. And there's 17 inches between uh, the fan on this side and there is 17 inches on this side. So we know that it is about as close to the exact center as you can get because we placed it on the exact center marking already. We're going to draw a circle around the intake here so that we know where to cut it with the jigsaw. So I'm just going to draw it all the way around. Okay, so now we should be able to remove the fan. And yes, we've got it here. Now we've got our circle that we can cut out with a jigsaw. So we've moved out into the garage now and we've set our board 
so that it's suspended over two objects so there's a space under here so when we cut it we won't be cutting through anything. So we're going to drill a hole to make a spot for the jigsaw to start. There we go. So now we've got an entry hole started there for the jigsaw. We have to drill a bigger hole for our jigsaw. It wasn't big enough for the jigsaw to fit in. So now my dad's going to use a jigsaw. He wanted to do this part because I'm kind of clumsy. But so he's going to cut just uh, along the inside there so it'll be a snug fit for it. So he's going to start cutting it now. There we go, now the hole's cut.